This is Liz. She has a surprise for her boyfriend. She hasn't told anyone about her plans, but she can't keep them a secret. Google knows Liz is planning a trip because she uses Gmail. Liz is no stranger to Google. Google already knows Liz by her email account and her internet address, and it knows her contact list. Liz's internet service provider has a lot of the same information about her, including her full name and street address. When Liz searches for flights, Google also knows that she wants to go to Hawaii. When she clicks on a travel site to buy tickets, it knows the search terms she used to get there. The travel site also knows when she's planning to go to Hawaii, and it knows who she's traveling with and her frequent flyer status. The federal government also learns where and when Liz is traveling and who's traveling with her, and checks if she's on a terror watch list. From the moment Liz clicked on the travel site, dozens of advertising and marketing firms also have begun tracking her online behavior with small computer programs called cookies that they have embedded in the site. These firms may not know Liz by name yet, but they know her by unique tracking codes and can follow her movements across the web. They see when she goes to another site to read about the best beaches in Hawaii and immediately start showing her ads for bathing suits. They learn more about Liz's interests when she goes to her favorite shopping site. Google, Facebook, and Twitter also are gathering more information about Liz's behavior with share buttons they have embedded on the shopping site, even if she doesn't click on them. Facebook learns that Liz may be interested in bathing suits through its like button, even before she posts a picture of a bikini on her wall. Her post confirms her interest in bathing suits to Facebook, which immediately shows her an ad for a diet shake. The tracking doesn't stop when Liz goes to the mall. Google knows where Liz is headed because she uses Google Maps. As she drives along, a police car scans her license plate and enters the number into a law enforcement database. Her cell phone carrier, Verizon, also records her movements and includes her location data in a bundle of customer information it sells to data brokers. Those brokers then sell the information to advertisers, marketers, and other businesses. When Liz arrives at the mall, the shopping center tracks her phone's Wi-Fi signal to see which store she enters. And when she walks into a boutique, cameras with facial recognition software take her picture and may store it for years. The cameras are also equipped with software that tracks how much time she spends in each aisle. When Liz buys a bathing suit, the store may share information about her purchase with data brokers. Before leaving the mall, Liz stops at a pharmacy to pick up a few more things for her trip. Because Liz signed up for the drugstore's rewards programs, it tracks her prescriptions and shares information with marketers about her purchases, including the home pregnancy test. And through a partnership with the drugstore, Facebook learns that the diet shake ad it showed her earlier in the day was effective. Many of the advertisers and marketers that track Liz claim they cannot identify her but these firms have a pretty good idea of who she is. Google and Verizon have a much clearer picture of Liz because they know her email contacts, the phone number she has called, and the locations she's visited. Data brokers may know a bit more about Liz because they can link many of her online and offline activities. Law enforcement, private investigators, and attorneys can obtain an even better picture of Liz. They can gain access to her private life with a subpoena or a court order which require a lower burden of proof than a search warrant. They can find out who she has called and who has called her. They can get location data from her cell phone records. They can find out the internet addresses of the computers she has used to go online and which sites she has visited. The picture of Liz created by this information is very detailed. She has little control over who sees it. Neither do you.